Hi everybody and welcome back! So today we're going to do kind of a mixture of a video because I am so freaking lucky. I have like the best in-laws ever. But basically, I think it was like a couple weeks back, I was sitting on the computer and feeling sorry for myself because I was nowhere near a Shoppers Drug Mart or any type of Canadian, North American type of drugstore, and I wanted to get my hands on some drugstore freaking products. Do you know what I'm saying? Like cheap, but good, and ones that I'd heard really good reviews about, and I was like, that's it. I'm just gonna email my mother-in-law and ask her to go hit up Walmart and like shoppers and just get me some stuff, you know? She's so freaking cute that she did. So I finally picked up the package yesterday. It must be because I'm Canadian, but when I see this like lettering and it says Canada Post on it, I just feel really homesick and nostalgic. That's ridiculous because it's an envelope. Anyways, apart from some goodies for Esme, which as good grandparents, they always send. Um, I got a few things for her from the drugstore. I got some baby aura gel. She's been having some trouble teething. We tried some gel from Malaysia. I mean, it worked, but my mother-in-law said that she wanted to send some to give it a try, so I think I will. The first one I picked up that I have been dying to get is the Rimmel Stay Matte Long Lasting Press Powder. And I got the color Transparent, I'm not in the store to try it. Transparent works. And can I just say, I was so excited that I, I just picked this up yesterday, right? So today, this face is the first time trying some of these products. I totally get why everybody loves this powder. It is amazing. I have a few translucent powders that I use, but this one is the first one that completely mattifies my skin. In fact, today, I'm wearing the Etude House BB Cream, which has an SPF of 30, which is really not my favorite thing because I feel like when, it's, when a product has SPF in it, as good as it is for your skin, I really find it makes my skin quite shiny, like halfway into the day or halfway into my wearing of the product. So I've been like, you know, I bought this whole bottle of this BB cream and I don't want it to go to waste. So I've been trying to wear it and it's, it's a nice color for my skin. Like it matches really well, but I just find it gets a little shiny. Hello, pressed powder. So excited about this. And it was really like cheap, I think. I don't think any of these things were more than like $15. So awesome find. If you can get your hands on this, do so. Another one that I was really looking forward to trying was this, and this is the Rimmel Wake Me Up Liquid Concealer, and I'm using it today. It's been a long time since I've used a liquid corrector like this, and um, I quite like it. It's obviously not thick enough to cover any blemishes. I had a few spots I had to cover today. I used a little bit of this. It worked okay, but I definitely topped it up with a thicker My Bobbi Brown uh, Face Touch-Up Stick. But this is quite nice. I find it. When I had my in-laws ship the products, I had them take it out of the packaging. So I'm not entirely sure what shade this is, but whatever it is, it goes perfect with my skin. Fabulous. And this is the Wet n Wild Color Icon line. And this is the eyeshadow palette collection? What do you want to call it? Palette, I suppose, in comfort zone. I had seen a few uh, YouTubers talk about this, and honestly, it is Fantastic. Oh my god. The whole eye today is using this this color scheme here. I used every single color. They are beautiful. I'm really impressed with how pigmented the colors are and they blend really well together. We'll see how it wears. I'm not sure. I just did my makeup like half an hour ago. So, so far so good. And went wild. Well done. I remember that being like a really crappy line when I was young. So, well done. I also got two blushes from the Wet n Wild line, and this is their color icon range again, and this one is in Berry Shimmer and Pearlescent Pink. I may have read about these on Essie Button's blog. I'm not sure. Anyways, today I'm wearing this pearlescent pink. I quite like it. There's a very little shimmer to it. Um, nothing crazy like my uh, Hot Mama the Bomb product that I wear that's like highlighter all over the place. It's not crazy like that, but it's still quite pretty. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to pull up the color very well. So far I like it. Not much more to say about that. I had been looking at the Bourgeois line and there's a few products I guess I was looking at. In hindsight, I'm like, I could have asked for a ton more, but I wasn't sure of the price point of a lot of these things, so I just did a small haul. But I asked her to pick up this, and this is the Bourgeois Volume Glamour Ultra Curl Mascara. I am wearing it today. I quite like it. It kind of reminds me of, which is the voluminous one? Is that L'Oreal? L'Oreal Voluminous? I used to wear that all the time. It has, um, the wand is one of those curled ones. I don't know if you can see that. 
it's like a slight curl to it. I find it's just very silky. The consistency of the actual mascara itself, it's very, it applies very smooth and silky to the lashes. Oftentimes I have trouble when I'm using a mascara to do more than one application. I find it clumps too much and I really don't like it. This one I was able to do two applications and it really built like it really built up the product rather than get clumpy so I'm rather impressed with this I'm not sure I've seen anybody on YouTube talk about this yet so time will tell if I enjoy it as much as I do today and the last thing I had her pick me up were a bunch of these and these are the Revlon lip butters who doesn't love these there are a few of their colors that they just don't have in Malaysia or at least the stores I frequent and believe me I frequent them frequently that was weird. So the one I'm wearing today is Sweet Tart. I picked up Candy Apple, Raspberry Pie, and Creme Brulee. I have been looking for Creme Brulee since I saw Anna Saccone talk about this like a million years ago, but they just don't sell it here. They have one in Asia called Fig, or Fig Butter, or something like that, but it's like a much darker um, brown. I don't know. Anyways, so far so good. Thank you. Thank you, sweet, sweet mother-in-law. So those are some of my little drugstore haul. I was really excited to get those. And as you can see, the things that I did choose, pretty neutral, pretty like confident they're gonna go well with my skin. As I said, I mean with makeup, you don't wanna buy something that's, that's not gonna go with your skin. And it can be a little scary to buy stuff online. So that said, I'm pretty happy with what I got. And the other thing I wanted to share with you is that I have basically put myself on a bit of a shopping ban because there's a couple reasons. One, I'm noticing that there's some cash leaving my house that I wasn't prepared to be spending. It's difficult. You get so into like this beauty stuff and you're watching all these beauty gurus on YouTube and like I said before, it makes you want to buy some shit. And I've been buying some stuff and I'm like, okay, this is getting crazy. I got to set up a budget for fun times, you know? Second reason that I'm putting myself on a little ban is because, hold on to your panties, people. They are opening a Sephora, oh my lord in my city. I cannot freaking wait. So the Sephora is going to be open at the end of July. They're opening this huge mall. I'm like, how did I not know this? This is crazy. So they're opening up a Sephora. I mean, there's going to be like hundreds of stores, but Sephora, H&M, oh my lord, H&M, Victoria's Secret. Like, I, I'm, I'm a little bit excited. I'm so excited. I'm like, oh, I can't even wait. So all of that to say, I'm like, that's it. I'm not going to spend a damn penny until those stores open because I want to spend my money on things that I really like. And I do find, and you guys have probably noticed before, that sometimes when I talk about things, like when I bought my Real Techniques brushes and I was like, they were so expensive. Everyone's looking at me like, what is wrong with her? Why are they expensive? That's because sometimes in Malaysia, when you're buying things that are from North America or from the UK or whatever, and they're not regularly sold here, there's a super high markup because A, they can, and B, it might've cost them a lot to get them shipped here. So all of that to say, I am so excited because with Sephora coming, I imagine the prices are going to be fairly consistent because Sephora is like a huge chain. Oh, I'm so excited. <sighs> Can you tell? So what I wanted to ask you guys is tell me in the comments some of your favorite tried and true Sephora products. Like I am looking for some face products, so some cleansing products, your basic makeup products. One thing I'm particular I'm looking for is a new tinted moisturizer. I have just run out of my Bobbi Brown one that I love. As much as I really like it, it's always nice to try new products. So that's something I'm in the market for. If you think, somebody mentioned NARS. They have a really nice tinted moisturizer, I believe. There's a Jouer one I wanna try, but I don't think they sell it at Sephora. And anyways, yeah, so let me know in the comments your favorite tried and true Sephora products. I'm gonna add it to my list. And let me tell you, watch out when those doors open. You know what I'm saying? And the last thing I want to share with you guys is that I just set up a P.O. box. So if you would like to snail mail me, which I get, which some of you might be like, girl, you live way too far to get some snail mail. It's so easy. You just go to the post office, you show them the address, and they'll tell you how much a stamp costs. So if it's fun to have my channel grow and evolve and get to a place where there's the potential to receive things in the mail. So if you're inclined to send me anything, I would happily, happily receive it. So that is it, you guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. Washing? Thank you so much for washing. I appreciate it. That's not what I meant to say. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I appreciate your love and support. Your comments, awesome. I try to reply to every single one. If I missed yours, I apologize. I might have been tired. If you feel so inclined, you could subscribe here, which would be awesome because you can catch all my videos. I'm also on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. My links will all be below. That's it. Have a great day. Peace. 
fact, I remember that there was a period of time there, maybe between the ages of like five and eight, where every birthday party we played 